Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you're watching this video from. And welcome again to another section of this course. And in this video today, we are going to be talking on um, what are the potentials in SAPS for Anna. So, in this video, we are going to unlock um, great, great potential that you have when you implement when you implement SAPS for Anna Finance and Controlling. All right. So before we take a deeper dive into um, this topic, I want to I want to introduce the topic to you. What does SAPS for Anna Finance and Controlling mean? Finance and SAPS for Anna is a business suit um, as ERP ERP system that help you to integrate your business processes, your operations, such as your finance, such as your procurement, such as your sales, your project management, as much as you can imagine, SAP has you covered. Your HR module is also embedded inside SAPS for HANA. All right, so in summary, SAPS for HANA is just what an organization use to have a single system that holds all their business processes together. Okay, so when you implement SAPS for HANA, what are the potentials you get? It, it, it tends to get. All right, and that is what we are going to be talking about in this topic. And before we go deeper into this topic, can you please take our time to like this video and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. All right, so in this video, we're going to be looking at potentials. Number one potential that it tends to get and the only implement a PS4 HANA is insights for data-driven decision-making in real time. Of course, we're going to have um, a better understanding of all this. And number two is streamlined processes for increased efficiency. Number three, we'll talk about enhanced reporting and compliance. And number four, simplified user experience and innovation potential. So number one, let's talk about insights for data-driven decision-making in real time. All right, with SAPS for HANA Finance and Controlling, the, the system collects data real time. All right, so you don't have to wait till probably um, the data to be recorded in an invoice before it's been generated. With SAPS for HANA Finance and Controlling, all data are generated real time. So when you get onto the, the system, when you log onto the system, you can see your sales revenue per time. You can see your sales revenue per month. You can see the number of products you are producing and with all this data it enables you to have a, a data driven decision so you are not making a decision based on i mean based on logistic you have data i mean, I mean you can you we all can overemphasize um the benefits of having data and having to make decisions using data so this real-time uh, visit visibility empowers finance team to make data driven decision quickly and accurately all right, another potential that you tend to unlock when you implement SAPS for Anna Finance and Controlling is um, SAPS for Anna Finance and Controlling able to streamline business processes for increased efficiency. And um, we can just um, take two steps back, or probably two years ago, not two years ago, maybe two decades ago, when you have a uh, Organization using manual invoicing, using manual data entry, and all that. So, but with SAPS for HANA, and I bet there are some ERP that you still have to make use of um, some manual uh, process and all that. But with SAPS for HANA, every of your business processes are all automated. So, there is no reason why you need to have to be manually doing anything. Everything is automated. automated. All right. So, SAPS for HANA Finance and Control simply simplifies and streamlines these processes. Come to think about it, your procurement processes, anything you can think of, are all streamlined, are all automated. So, SAPS for Finance and Controlling simplifies and streamlines these processes, resulting in increased operational efficiency and reduced cost. So, having to use 10 people to do a manual work, SAPS for Finance streamlines it to and as automated results that you can reduce the number of people you employ, and as a result, you have your cost minimized. All right, another um, point we're going to be looking at is enhanced reporting and compliance. All right, with SAPS for Anna Finance and Controlling, a much emphasis is placed on regulatory compliance and financial reporting. All right, you can know the platform SAPS for Anna incorporates global accounting standards 
and provide predefined reporting reports and templates ensuring accurate compliance financial statements okay for instance the higher ferrous and the gap the recipe is for hana there is a template that is given that you have to follow so there is no reason why and why an organization will not be compliant the recipe is for hana okay so by doing this it will have to help you to mitigate against a lot of risk and of course reduce your cost so number four we have that we're going to be talking about is uh, it's simplified user experience and innovation potential. SAPS for HANA offers a modern and intuitive user experience <laughs> thanks to simplified user interface and uh, Fiori helps. By the time you make use of the Fiori, you can see how simplified and how user friendly they are. All right, the yes, Fiori helps, of course, provide role based access to financial information and enables user to perform tasks efficiently from any device even on, on your tabs you can find for you can perform um your tabs efficiently all right so i believe you all, all understood all that you tend to benefit when you implement sap as well so these are just a few points we talked about there are so many um benefits and so many potential the organization tends to unlock when they implement SAPS for financing, finance and controlling. All right, let's take a um, summary of what we have been talking about. We talked about potentials that it tends to unlock when your business implements SAPS for financing and controlling. And one of the potential we talked about is um, real time insight into your data. And then number two, we talked about the streamlined processes. And number four, we talked about how SAPS for HANA financing controlling help you and enhance reporting reporting and also we talked about um your reg the regulatory compliance potential in SAPS for HANA. All right, um I believe you've all learned so much on this video. We would love to have you in our next video. All right, thank you for joining us today.